From the state capitol, the Florida Public Radio Network brings you Capital Report. Earlier this week, a circuit court judge in Miami-Dade overruled Florida's 30-year-old law against gay adoption. As Margie Menzel reports, the state will appeal that decision as gay marriage opponents also weigh in on the case. Miami-Dade Circuit Judge Cindy Lederman ruled Tuesday there was no rational basis for prohibiting gays from adopting children. The ruling allows 47-year-old Martin Gill to adopt two young half-brothers he has cared for as foster children since 2004. But the adoption has been stayed. The Florida Department of Children and Families, which had moved to dismiss Gill's petition because he's gay, filed a notice of appeal immediately after Lederman announced her decision. DCF Special Counsel Neil Skeen. The reason we appealed is that our obligation is to follow the law. And we don't have the, we don't have the privilege of deciding that we do or don't like the law, and so we won't follow it. Uh, I described it as like deciding you don't like that red light, and so you think you'll run through it. Gill and his partner had already fostered seven children. When they took in the two boys, now eight and four, both had ringworm, the baby had an ear infection, and the older boy was severely withdrawn, Martin Gill. For two weeks, he didn't speak at all. Today, he's a very happy child. He smiles a lot. He has a lot of friends. I had a report just yesterday from his teacher that he was talking too much to the other kids, and I had to tell the teacher that makes me happy. Lederman described both children as thriving. The older boy had had to repeat the first grade, but has progressed. Gil described his reaction on being told that Gil planned to adopt him. And he said, Poppy, we're all going to have the same name. We're going to have the same last name. And I said, yeah, we're going to be a permanent family and we're all going to have the same name. He sat there and he wrote out his new name. Two pages, he filled up at least two or three pages for the next half hour he wrote that name. But the adoption, if it does come off, first faces an appeals court and possibly the state Supreme Court. This judge's decision is wrong both on the law and on the social science. John Stamberger, chairman of the successful drive earlier this month to put a gay marriage ban in the state constitution. It's in defiance of the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals legal authority and the will of the people as expressed in the legislature. And this is precisely why 30 other states have amended their state constitutions to define marriage. It's because activist judges, instead of being restrained academic arbiters of the law, are seeking to be social change agents which is entirely inappropriate. Lederman's ruling states, there is no question the blanket exclusion of gay applicants defeats Florida's goal of providing children a permanent family through adoption. Gill's attorney, Robert Rosenwald of the American Civil Liberties Union, agrees. The evidence that Judge Lederman in this case heard was undisputed by DCF. DCF admitted that there are, at any given time, 900 to 1,000 kids in foster care ready for adoption who they are attempting to recruit parents for and for whom there are no adoptive parents. Stenberger strongly disputes this. There are hundreds of thousands of parents and married couples that are looking to adopt children. I mean, we're going overseas to adopt children. And the problem is, is that DCF here in Florida will not allow children to be held Uh, to be adopted if they're in foster care with homosexual couples. Stenberger also charges that DCF is using gays as foster parents to subvert the ban on their adopting. They specifically are doing an end run around the prohibition upon gay adoptions by allowing foster care parents who are gay to have permanent custody. And it's really improper. Those DCF officials should be doing what's in the best interest of children, and that's placing them with a mom and a dad. Again, Skeen said, DCF is following the statute that says gays cannot adopt. There's not a statute that says gays can't be foster parents, and so we don't have a statute that says, you know, that lets us turn them down on that basis. DCF launched an Explore Adoption campaign in July, focusing on those children most likely to remain the longest in state custody, sibling groups, African Americans, and children with disabilities. In Florida, African Americans comprise 42 percent of children in foster care, but just 21 percent of the general child population. Gill's would-be adoptees are African American. Stenberger denies that this would be an obstacle to their adoption. That's simply not true. Any child can be adopted of any race, of any sex. The only 
children that are very difficult are severely deformed children or older children with behavioral problems. Those are the really hard cases. But any child, um, like the child in these cases, these children could have very easily been placed with a mother and a father. During November, which is National Adoption Month, Governor Christ and other state leaders have put on a number of events to encourage adoption. Neil Skeen. This is very important to find permanent homes for these kids, so it's a big effort for us. If anybody thinks there are um, uh, parents out there who would adopt uh, or become foster parents, uh, we would love to hear about them. Stenberger, an attorney, predicted that Lederman's ruling would be reversed on appeal. For Florida Public Radio, I'm Margie Menzel.